is up YouTube It's good to be back What up, what up? I am your boy Jay Will and this is a thousand ways to sound uh, today I'm just gonna be showing you how I came up with my strings I will be getting into how I came up with the rest of the beat and other tutorials so be on the lookout for that um, also you can look in the description below to find the link uh, to stream buy or to donate to support your boy alright so let's go ahead and get into the strings um, this is what they sound like And it just repeats itself over time throughout the whole song. It doesn't change. Um, we are in the key of E flat. I did go ahead and add notes that overlap themselves. Just so that way it gives it more of a natural human effect. Like it strums another key by accident. But uh, going into the next key. I like it. It's, it just gives it a little nice touch to it. Some people don't care about that thing. But I do. Um, I also added some reverb to it. The reverb, this is what it sounds like without the reverb. It still sounds good, it's just flat. It doesn't have the fullness that it did. And this is with the reverb. It gives it just a little bit more presence, a little bit more ambience, and that's why I added the reverb. Uh, when you're selecting reverb, or when I, at least when I'm selecting reverb, I solo out my instrument and I turn on the reverb and I let the reverb play, and I'll change it and I'll select which reverb sounds the night the best with it, and then I'll go back and I'll tweak the reverb settings uh, to my liking. Um, like if you listen to this one, it has a slight reverse to it. It just gives it a little, just a little bit more like feel to it, emotion to it. Uh, I like it. Um, I also added a counter melody. I know I said I was just going to talk about the strings, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump into like the counter melody really quick. Um, counter melody is, in my explanation, what I call a counter melody is just these notes are going against these notes. Um, so when these notes go down, these notes are going up, and when these notes go down, these notes are coming up. So this is what it sounds like. And when it's in the beat, it's very subtle. You can barely hear it. Um, I added it just so that way it gives it just a nice little, nice little just bump to it. Just like keeps you keeps you rocking, you know. And it goes against with the flow of the the. It gives it tension, I guess you would say. Just because it doesn't it doesn't match, in my opinion. So this is what it sounds like together. That's with the uh, piano that I added to complement the strings. And you have the strings. It has no harm, it's just there. I added this gap right here for a tape stop, uh, if you were wondering what that gap was for. Um, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to organically make a tape stop, so that way you don't have to go through VSTs or plugins. You can actually know it by knowledge. Sorry, I dropped my mouse. All right, so uh, with no further ado, this is uh, how it all sounds together. Actually, um, I did add, I uh, doubled up the strings, I uh, added the octave higher to the, the piano and the strings. Just to give it some more liveliness, or just a switch even, just to change up. Um, but I do want to thank you guys for watching. Um, you can find the link in the description, like I said below, or like I said before, um, to download it, to stream it. You can also donate if you would like to. But um, let's go ahead and listen to the intro until the first verse. Peace.